Hi everyone, this is Amanda. This is my channel, Amanda Random. And you guys, it's another booktube vlog. I have a bunch of random books sitting here that I have found at the little free libraries. I've gone with my daughter Jazzy. I've gone with the little girl that I take care of. We go on all these little adventures and check out all these free little libraries. Hopefully now that it's getting a little nicer here in good old freezing Wisconsin, um, I can actually video us going to them more and do vlog book vlogs where we actually get to go around and find stuff like, you know, together. Um, so, but right now we've just been taking books that I've read and aren't special enough for me to keep. And I'm taking those books and dropping them off and finding new books and bringing them back. So with that being said, that's where all these books are coming from. Scout's Honor that I have put way more books back in these boxes than I've taken from them because your girl has plenty of books. So with that being said, I just want to share some books with you guys because I like watching videos like this and most of you, some of you might like watching videos like this. And for those of you that don't, well then, bye bye The same for you. Come back next time. Okay, you guys. So this book, I got really excited when I found, and excuse me if you've seen my last video, might be posted before this one. I just got done filming my video for what I read in March. So yes, I'm filming right after that video again. So deal with it. This book, like I said, was very interesting to me. It is Experiencing Heaven. There's three true stories in here. So story one is 90 Minutes in Heaven by Don Piper. The next one is Flight to Heaven by Captain Dale Black. The next one is My Journey to Heaven by Marvin Beastman, or Beastman. And you guys, I've heard so many good things about these stories. And they're like actual accounts of people that have had experiences in heaven. So they're kind of afterlife books and then they're either brought back or things like that. So I'm definitely into checking this one out. It's huge and there's three books in it, but score. So the next three books that I'm going to hold up for you, I like got so excited when I found them because I'm pretty sure Jasmine, my daughter was with me and I was like freaking out. I was jumping up and down because I just read some random book review about said author and I was like I really need to go check this book out and the the author is Nicholas Sparks and then lo and behold that same day I find three Nicholas Sparks books. So the book that I was interested in checking out is Nicholas Sparks The Return. How pretty is that? Like I love this cover and it's hardcover so I was like totally stoked and then I opened it up and I realized on the inside of the dust jacket there's the happy holidays edition of this book where you can flip it around and have this on the outside and I just love it like obviously not just because of the dust jacket but it was just one of those meant to be moments when I literally just talked about this book just read about this book and then bam there it is. And to top that off, it wasn't just this one by Nicholas Sparks. It's this one by Nicholas Sparks. And this one is two by two. You guys, oh. I guess if you want to read about these books, go look them up on Amazon or Goodreads. And you can kind of read the synopsis about, uh, synopsis about what it's all about. And if you'd be interested or not. Because I don't want to go completely into each of these books. Because we'll be here forever. Because we all know how well... Maybe not how well spoken I am, but how well I'm able to speak and not shut up. So, if you want to know more about the books, go check them out. This one is two by two. The last one by this man, right here. This is Mr. Nicholas Sparks. This is Every Breath. Bam. Bam. Um, yeah. 
I don't know how that happened, but it was definitely meant to happen because now I cannot write, wait to read these books and I have a feeling like I'm all going to be about me some Nicholas Sparks. So that was really cool to find those. And then I found this book and normally I don't grab books like this. So I'm not sure really why I did, but it is Not Another Bad Date by Rachel Gibson. And I honestly think it was like this chick and she's wearing, you know, like the oversized men's work shirt and it says Gibson is funny, touching, and steamy. And it has like all these pictures that must be of these guys maybe she dated. And it says, what does a gal have to do to get a good date in this town? So I think this is going to be really good. So I grabbed it. It, like I said, it's not normally something, um, but I remember hearing about Rachel Gibson and it was a sex, lies, and online dating um, book. So that's kind of why I remembered the author's name. Those are some other books right there by Rachel. So I picked it up and I guess when I get to it, this is going to be one of those like take it to the beach, read it outside books, whatever. And then you guys, I picked this one up. This one I actually found today. Um, this is The Secret at Lone Tree Cottage by Carolyn, I'm pretty sure it's Kenny. I can't even tell, but it says it's book two, and you guys, it is so old. It says it's the Dana Girls or Dana Girls mystery stories, so I saw, I have this, I have this thing for old books, and it was definitely old. You can see how the pages look, and when I opened it up... Look at this book. It's got some like Nancy Drew mystery kind of lure to it, I guess. Um, so it's The Secret at Lone Tree Cottage. And these pages, you guys, these pages are so thick. This is when like book, oh, there it is. Carolyn Keen. You guys, I don't know, but it has a list of all these other books by her. Now wait until you hear this part. This is like how I knew Copyright 1934 by Grosset and Dumlap Incorporated. 1934. So, it's it's just really amazing. I'm definitely going to read it. And just because it's old and pretty and cute, I haven't looked it up. I don't know if it's worth any money or if it was even a popular book. But it's old and I love it. So the next one that I have found, like I said, these are all from the Free Little Libraries, uh, book exchanges and things like that. So this one is called Bones Are Forever by Kathy Wright. And that's what it looks like. You can't really tell underneath this, but I want to see it. I don't want to pull it off because it actually shows like this is a free little, um, littlefreelibrary.com. It has like the little sticker on there and if you look though it's got like this bone this hand bone coming up over the rocks and it just looks ooh. so it says from the author who inspired the fox television drama bones and if you guys know anything i love reading like true crime series and stories and things like that whether they're paranormal or not or and whatever so that's what the back looks like there's our pretty little author and yeah so i kind of had to grab this one i just kind of had to and then the next one I found was Dreamland, and it is by Sarah Dessen, I believe. But what drew me to this is obviously just kind of this cover. I, I had no idea what this book was about, and that's why I love Free Little Libraries, you guys. It's kind of like a, you don't pick the book, but the book picks you because you're going there not knowing what's there. And then you see a random book and you're like, hmm. I guess I'm taking this one home. I'm going to read this. So I, I don't know why I really was interested in this one, but I picked it up and I read the back. And this one says, this is the first part I read. He's got that wild look, Rena said in a low voice. He's hot. Okay, I'm 40. This probably is maybe a young, a young people book. But you know what? I don't care how old I am. If Rena says this man is hot, then I'm going to read about it because Rena said so. 
anyways, <laughs> you guys, that's why I grabbed this one. And it looks really interesting. And again, it's going to be a quick read. I have no problem reading young author books or, you know, anything like that. I love young adult, young author, young adult books. And whether it's a YA book or it doesn't even matter the genre, like, I'm all about it. So, speaking of young adult books, I'm probably pretty sure everybody has had, especially if you're around my age, you've all had your run-ins with the wonderful world of Dr. Seuss. And when I was young, these books literally got me so involved with reading. They got me so drawn into the rhyming world and poetry and writing my own poetry as I got a little older. And I couldn't get enough of them. Like these books really made me want to read. So these were like obviously the beginner reading type books. But I'm like, you know what? When I find these books, I want to collect them. I want to have a set of these books that are all Dr. Seuss books, and hopefully, eventually, I can do so. So, I had grabbed two books from one, and then I had gone a couple days later, and I had found the next, like, set of all these books, and I grabbed them all, and when I got home, I did realize I had some doubles. So, I'm going to show you guys them all, and with the doubles, I'm going to pick the best book that's in the best shape and I will keep that one and then obviously I'm taking the other ones back and those will be some more books that I just drop off at some other random free little libraries. So we got Oh the Thinks You Can Think by Dr. Seuss. So loved this book and this one is in amazing shape like it's not drawn in the pages and everything are perfect it saddens me because this was probably some little kid's book and I wonder if they even read it. Then I go into my head and wonder, did anybody read it to them, more importantly? And then I get sad and I wonder why this isn't like ripped up and torn and why someone didn't love this book so hard that it looks like it's still in perfect condition. Anyways, that's just how my brain works. We don't need to go there. We definitely don't have all the Dr. Phil time in the world for that. But here's one of them. The next one I found was Dr. Seuss ABC. And this one's cute. It's got the little sticker on the corner for, um, I think it was the 50th anniversary sticker. And again, this one doesn't look like it's rode in anywhere. And it's in great condition. So I have... I have bonked myself in the face. So there is this one by Dr. Seuss. And then one of my favorites too was by Dr. Seuss, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. So this one is definitely seen some love. There is like teeth marks in this and I ain't even mad about it because like I said, whoever this person is, I'll cover their name, but whoever this person is, he thoroughly enjoyed this book because he... He chewed on it, he put his front teeth in it, he drew in it. <laughs> so even though that's all there, this book tells a story in more ways than just one and I ain't mad at it. So here is this one from Dr. Seuss. And then we have the Hop on Pop by Dr. Seuss, which is in pretty great condition as well. Nothing written in this one. So then we have this one, which is the one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Now this one to me is in better shape, but I'm almost drawn to the fact that I might keep the other one or maybe I'll keep both of them in this, in this. I don't know. I don't know why it's important to me, but one of the things I want to do in said library, whenever I still get to creating that upstairs, uh, and one of my extra rooms is I want to get a bunch of the books what inspired me when I was young, books that I really resonated with and, was drawn into that helped me want to become an avid book reader and even book writer or poetry writer. And it's just important to me to have some of those books, I guess, maybe to pass on to my kids, maybe for my kids to read to their kids. I don't know. But 
obviously we have an all-time favorite here by everyone and that's green eggs and ham so this one again in pretty good shape there's not really any writing in it that i could see looks like it's good to go and then this is one of the other doubles and both of these abc books by dr seuss are impeccable condition so i'm just going to grab one of these and keep it and then put the other one back so i can finally put all of these books upstairs get them out of the way so my family's not you know tripping going down the steps and things like that but i was really excited with some of these um and i wanted to share them with you guys so check out the little free libraries in your area there is a little free library app and there is a little free library like dot com that you can go to and you can like even on your app, you can put in the area that you're in and it'll pop up a map and you can go and find all of the registered little free libraries and drop books off, find new books, deliver new books, take new books with you. They're just amazing. I love these things. I love the person that had this idea because it's like a little treasure hunt and that brings people of all ages that like reading books. It just makes it really fun, I think, especially for even younger kids that get to have that feeling of, what will we find? This is exciting. Now I want to read because I want to go on this little treasure hunt and see what I can find. So as a grown adult, I feel the same way. I feel ya. I'm the same way. It's a treasure hunt. It's fun. There's things you're just meant to find and meant to read that the universe placed there. And it was just a meant to be thing. So I'm going to take my Dr. Seuss books and all my other new books and I'm going to go put them away and I'm going to continue reading the book that I'm currently reading. So go check out those out, you guys. You won't regret it. Definitely check out all the links below this video. You'll see my Goodreads account. If you want to follow along and hang out with me and see what I've been reading um, before I make these videos because they're always listed and updated as I finish them in my Goodreads account. So with that being said, I love all of you randoms, and I will be back again soon. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. Bye. Go on an adventure of your own and find some new books.